Welcome back, my home cooks and chefs. You know what we doing, my home cooks and chefs. We doing some beignets. I'm about to take you to New Orleans, baby. I'm going to take you to New Orleans. You know, we still celebrating Black Heritage Month, you guys. I'm about to get out on some beignets. I'm going to show you an easy and simple way to make beignets where you don't have to be mixing anything in a bowl. All right, you guys. Let's get into this easy ingredient. This is an easy way to make some uh, beignets. It's very simple and easy. You need some powdered sugar and a pizza crust. You know what I'm saying? From Pillsbury. You know what I'm saying? Um, just get the regular one. Don't get a thin crust. Get the regular one. This is the only way it's going to uh, fluff up. And it has everything you possibly need. And I'm going to tell you, this is a cinch, you guys. I need some oil to fry it in and this. So let's get into opening this up and flatten this out and cutting up some squares. All right, so pop it open. Normally, you just open up an end and then hit it on the counter and it opens up. You know, don't be scared, you guys. Just hit it. Yeah, all right, those that use this type of dough know what you gotta do. All right, you got so toss that over, roll it out, find where the end is at. The end is right there, and roll it. Roll it out. And roll it out the best way you can. Try to get as much as a square if you can. Add some flour if you want to smooth it out. You know, and just get a rolling pin and roll it. Roll it out best you can. Try to keep it in a square fashion. You know, just try to get it as not too thin, but thin as possible. You know, thin, thin as you like. All right, you guys. And so you want to get pizza cutter. <laughs> Probably use a pizza uh, uh, bread to do it, but you know, that's how you you know make a square. Now you can use a knife or whatever like that. This is just faster and easier. So just cut across, you guys, and make your squares. Now you can make them more, you know, saying square if you like, but uh, this is just how I'm doing it. All right, you guys. Uh, roll it out a little bit. still cut so you know you want that still cut so you can just peel it peel it back that's one two these little small ones but hey when you're doing beignets you can have them however how big you like and how small you like but I like to have them in a conform square you know same shape yeah, that's as much as you gonna get and let's get it I'm gonna get this fryer Frying up, we're gonna throw these bad boys in. All right, so get your uh, heat, your temperature, before you throw your beignets into about 350 degrees, do, do 325, and just lower them in, lower them away from you, like I said, when you put them in there. Don't overcrowd them. Like I said, put them away from you. So I'm, I might put about a good five in. All right, you guys. So when they start floating to the top, I mean, they do them right. Drop them in or throw them in. You know, it don't take that long. So once you see a little darkness, what you want to do is check. You know what I'm saying? Check one side. Look a little brown. Flip it over. There you go. Flip it over. You know what I'm saying? Flip the next one over. You know, they might fight you back, but I mean, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You just uh, flip them on over. Like I said, when you get that little bubble, that means you're doing it right. Let the other side cook. That's how fast it takes, and you're going to be taking them off very soon. So let it just cook. Like I said, they finish. All you're going to do is just put it on your pan, and then move on to the next batch. I'm going to add in another batch. Like I said, put them in slowly. You know what I'm saying? They do all the work itself. You guys, now you can't make them, like I said, you can make them from scratch, you guys. You know what I'm saying? I do both of them. But this is an easy way to do it, so you don't have to. You can get it real quick, hook it up. You know, you can do this with the kids, parent, mothers, fathers. You do the frying, you guys. 
You know what I'm saying? They can help cut. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is one way to do beignets. You know, very good. You know, this was, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, it was in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Grabbing the beignets, you know, with that little uh, powdered sugar or honey. You know what I'm saying? Some people actually stuff them. So I'm going to do a video too on how to, you know, stuff a beignet. You know what I'm saying? Do a sweet and then do a savory one to it. So, well, you know, but all right. So I'm going to let these fry up. And then I'm going to show you, you know, we're going to sprinkle the sugar over when we're done. All right, you guys. So we just got it out the fryer. They were hot and warm. You want to actually make sure you put on your powdered sugar or your sugar, you know what I'm saying, while it's hot. This is where it sticks, guys. So just spread it, you know, sprinkle over your powdered sugar. You know what I'm saying? If you want to add a little honey, you can. But, you know what I'm saying, let me know. Have you ever tried beignets? Have you been, you know, or do you even know, you know, what beignets are? But, uh, you know, these are really good. You know, I'm a sugar guy, so I'm going to put as much as I can on here. All right, you guys. But, you know, let me know if you try this recipe out. Now, what you could do is you could toss it, like I said, in, you know, a bowl. So you can get on all sides and stuff like that. You know, it just depends on how you would like, you know, your beignets. But, you know what I'm saying, powdered sugar. Now, I know we like fritters. You know, we in L.A., you know, when I was back home, there's a spot that we go to, you know what I'm saying, they be doing some bomb fritters and they do the powdered sugar. But these are really light and fluffy. And that's why I was saying this is a very easy and simple way to do uh, beignets. You know what I'm saying, very fast and easy where you don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, you know, slaving behind a bowl, trying to make it, mix this up. You can just go to the store, grab you some, you know, say Pillsbury pizza dough, slice them up, and you know, saying it serves to your family within minutes, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm your chef KC from the Urban Coach Kitchen, you guys. Hey, definitely, you know, I've appreciated all the comments. Thanks for, uh, you know, we're on that road to 20, uh, 20K, you guys. You know, I've been enjoying all this month long of celebrating uh, Black Heritage Month, you guys, with you guys. And this is one, you know, saying that I wanted to celebrate with you guys. You know, got to have a little sweet and something a little, you know, dainty. And why not go to New Orleans to get some beignets? But I brought New Orleans to Texas, you guys. So tell me how did I do. And tell me if you ever tried, you know, saying using Pillsbury dough. Or do you make it from scratch? Or does it matter to you? But uh, let me know. If you haven't been to my Facebook page, go over there and join the Facebook group. You know what I'm saying? The Urban Culture Kitchen Food Feeds the Soul, you guys. All right. You know what I'm saying? Don't be watching this far. You know, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You know, I really help you. You know, appreciate all you guys helping me out with this, you know, this channel. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and being here, my ride or die, it's been posting up, you know what I'm saying, enjoying all the comments and stuff like that. You know, but you know what I'm saying, definitely I will see you guys in the next one, you guys. Let me grab one of these bad boys and have a bite.